Okay, we're going to do a recording now on the revolve feature on this drawing right here with two dimensions and two two dimensions and two lengths. So we're going to start by drawing just half of this above a center line and then dimensioning it. So here we go. We're going to do a new sketch on the front plane. First thing we're going to do is on under the line tool, make a center line right at the origin. Start there and then go to the left horizontal line. Click again, then escape. Make sure that line's dead horizontal. It's got the little uh, the horizontal marker on it. We're going to go use a regular line and make the general shape of half of the part above the center line. Like this. And again, make sure that this is nice and straight and horizontal. All right, good. Now we can dimension this. First, we'll do the lengths. So one inch 028 across this top piece. And an overall length of 2.637. Okay, now for doing the diameters. The outside, the big diameter is 1.001 and the small one's 0.624. So the way we do diameters is we always start with that center line, click on that once, then click on one of the diameter lines, and then move your cursor down below this, the center line, and it will automatically pick it up as being a diameter. Change that to 1.001. .01. And we'll do the same for over here. Click on the center line. Click on the upper line, then drag below it. Click again and call that 0.624. And accept the sketch and exit. And then all we have to do is go to Features, Revolve it, and click OK. Now I'm going to save this as um, a part number. And part two, it doesn't matter what we call it. I'm going to call it, what am I going to call this thing? 360. What? 360? 360. All right. The name of it is 360. That's the name of the part now. So what I want to also show you is uh, take, to take this part, we went over before, but still, I'll, I'll show you again. I want to make a, um, a new make drawing from part or assembly. So click on that. Drawing. Okay. And a size landscape is, is a perfectly fine size for this part. It's like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Picture that. Okay. And I'm going to drag, I'm going to click hold and drag my front view and drop it. And this is still active. So all I'm going to do is I'm not, I don't have anything. Uh, I'm not holding down any keys. I'm just going to slide over to the right side and click again. So I have two views. And then go OK. And now I can I can dimension these and I can print this drawing out or save it as a PDF. Once I have uh, under annotations, I'm going to go Smart Dimension. I'm going to click on this outside diameter. It automatically puts it in as one inch. And the other one is 0.62. Now, the reason why this happens, I'm going to hit Escape, is my settings down here where it says IPS. And it doesn't matter whether you're using the inch system or the metric system. You got to go into edit document units and change the amount of decimals that's showing. Now, for some reason, this should be showing three decimal places, but I'm having an issue with mine tonight. So I'm going to change it to two, go OK, and then I'm going to change it back again and see if that fixes it. Back into IPS, edit document units. On the length basic units, change that to three place. See if that fixes it. There we go. Now it's 624 and 1.001. All that's left to do is, uh, oh, not this one. This one right here. One inch 28. And then from here to here. So because you made all this in the model, it, it pulls in all the information automatically. You don't have to tell it how big it is, uh, including with the diameters, the diameter symbol. Okay, 
And then you can always, uh, if you needed to, you could put in some tolerances, uh, manufacturing tolerances, any comments about the part, anything special that's got to go on with it, uh, what kind of material it's made out of. If you've got a name for it, you can put it in the title. The drawing number 360 was already brought in because we called the part 360. So it assumes that the uh, you're going to use that same drawing number. And you can save that. Yeah, sure. Update the views. Sounds good. Save it. But from here, you can also, pretty sure you can do a save as. Let's see if I can save this one as a PDF file. Of course, that makes it nice and portable. You can email that to people or whatever. All right. And you've always, you've always got the PDF. So that's kind of the basics of doing a, a really straightforward revolve and drawing. Yeah, Chino. If you want to send that to, to a printer. Send it to a printer? Yeah, you, I, I would make it a PDF first. PDF first. Yeah, I, 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 I tend to do a PDF first and before then, I print it. Uh, print. Then print that PDF file. You, you say 3D printer, right? Oh, you, I thought you were talking about, I am, I'm sorry. Yeah, to a... To a 3D <laughs> printer? All right, if you want to save this to do 3D printing, so what you have to do is you're going to have to go back to the, uh, the model that you created, all right, to the part file, and do a file save as. Save as. And I'm going to change save file type to STL, dot STL. STL file is what they use, not exclusively, but almost exclusively on 3D printers. So it'll, it'll, it'll save that. But when we put the, uh, the flash drive yep. 